And we are on your side tonight looking for answers after several people say they trusted the wrong mechanic. Good evening and happy Easter to those of you who celebrate. I'm Jeff Dallin. It is a story we first told you about last week. A Jacksonville woman used Facebook to find someone to fix her car. She says the man she paid left her car in worse shape than when she had dropped it off. And now another family is stepping forward saying the same man did the same thing. On your side's Alex Asaitis joins us live downtown with a closer look. Alex. And Jeff Richard Waters has an active warrant out of Bradford County as well as a host of other things on his record from JSO. And it's because a family who we spoke with says that surprised him because they paid him to fix their car. They say that didn't happen. The driveway of Travis Moore's home filled with parts of his car stripped out and sitting. He says now it's been more than a month. Moore went to Facebook looking for someone to fix his Mazda. What he got, he says, was a headache. The father of three got a message from a woman advocating for her partner to fix Moore's car. Yeah, he said his name was Ricky. Moore identifying Richard Laundress in that picture, who was also found listed in several JSO reports. A number we found for Laundress went unanswered. Moore says that he's out nearly $900 for what he paid Laundress for an engine that he says didn't fit in his car, which is putting a strain on the family's finances. I just, I wish I'd have made a better decision on who I got to, to do the work. I won't do it ever again. I'll take my vehicle to a shop from now on. Coming up tonight at 11, more still searching for answers. He's hoping that charges are brought against lenders in this case. We'll have more on what he says coming up tonight at 11. We're live downtown. Alex Osiris, First Coast News on your side.